If I'm building out a completely unique design like something I created in Figma, I'll end up spending quite a bit of time inside Generate Press and Generate Blocks really dialing in the typography. However, on some smaller projects where maybe I'm not going to that extent of a really custom design, I just need something that looks good that I can get up and running quickly. I like using type scales like this because I can pick from a few different predefined settings and decide exactly what kind of steps I want in between each one of my font sizes. But all of these type scales I find online end up just giving you values at a single breakpoint. So here you can see desktop and it's listed in M instead of rim, which I could convert in here, but still I only have my desktop size and I need both my desktop and mobile size. In fact, I'd much rather have this done in a clamp function. So you could always go to a clamp calculator like this, where you put in your minimum size, your maximum size, and then your font sizes will scale proportionally based on the size of your screen. You can see here I'm using clamp and my headings are getting bigger and smaller as I scale up and down the width of the browser. You can actually see that happening over here in the font size. As I make this bigger, it gets to its maximum size. And as I go smaller, you can see it's shrinking down until it hits its minimum size of 48 pixels. But the problem with the clamp calculator like this is I need to go in and set all of these sizes one by one until I get all of my headings and various paragraphs all dialed in. So my idea was to combine these two different things to make one calculator where I could do all of this at once. So I worked with Mark from WS Form to create a calculator that would combine the power of type scale with the fluid typography of clamp functions. With one calculator, we can get all of our heading sizes, H1 through H6, as well as our paragraph, all output using clamp functions, which will make sure that our website typography is automatically responsive. So let me show you how that works here. All we need to do is set the body font size. You can see by default, it's set to 16, but we can use the arrows to increment that up, or we can type in whatever value we want. As you change these values, it's automatically updated here on the front end of the calculator, which gives you a visual representation of the sizes you're choosing. Now you do set this initial body font here in pixels, but that's just for the calculations to be done. Everything's gonna be output using rims inside of our clamp function. After you pick your body font size, you're gonna choose the scale you wanna use. On the minor second scale, which is the smallest of the scales, you're gonna see there's a smaller increment between the different font sizes. If we choose something like golden ratio, which is the biggest scale, there's a bigger jump in between each one of these different heading sizes. This gives you a pretty good scale of ranges to start from that are gonna be a great head start on any of your projects. We'll go ahead and select minor third here, and now we can implement this on our website. Here you can see it's giving us the clamp function for our H1, our H2, and so on. So I can go ahead and highlight all this and copy it to my clipboard, and we'll jump in here into the customizer. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new setting for our H1s, and I'll paste in our clamp value that we just copied to the clipboard. After I did that, you can see it updated here in our live preview, and this is actually trickling down to both our tablet and mobile versions as well. Even though the UI here in Generate Blocks kind of truncates this, it is working on all those different breakpoints. Next, we can go ahead and grab our H2 setting here, so I'll copy that to my clipboard. We'll add another typography here, search for H2, and paste in this font size for our H2, which automatically gets updated. Now this should work inside of any WordPress theme because most of them are gonna give you the ability to set all your heading levels, but I actually prefer a different implementation which is also built into the calculator. So let me go ahead and delete these two that we added so we can start back to where we were. We'll go back to our calculator here and scroll down to the bottom where you see the section here for complete CSS implementation. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all this CSS and copy it to my clipboard. We'll go back into the customizer here, out of typography and into our additional CSS. Now I can just paste in all that CSS and it's updated all of our heading sizes as well as our paragraph all at once. But the real benefit to this implementation is not only are we targeting these heading elements, we also have a matching class to go with it that we can use as a utility class. Now let me show you why that's important. I'll go ahead and publish these changes. We'll go out of the customizer and we'll edit this page. For accessibility purposes, it's important that you use your headings in the right order, but that doesn't always match how your design looks. You might need an H3 semantically, but you need it to be styled more like the size of your H1. Because we have those utility classes, we can click on our heading three here, go under advanced, and under additional CSS classes, we can type in FS, which stands for font size, H1. 
This is automatically going to change the font size of this H3 heading to match the font size we have set for our H1 heading. This works for any of the different headings, including the paragraphs. For example, if you needed an H1 that looked like a paragraph, you could go in here and type FS hyphen P, which is gonna resize that H1 down to the size of our paragraph. Of course, you have all this CSS right here, and you can see what all these utility classes are, although I tried to name them all something that would be easy to remember, like FS hyphen H1, H2, H3, and so on. Now, because you have all the CSS here, you could add things like your font weight or your line height. I tend to prefer to do that here inside Generate Press. When we go to the typography settings, we have one for all headings. You can go in here and set your font weight, which will affect all the headings on your website at one time. So for me, this is a little bit easier implementation than writing all the CSS for that. But if you needed granular control, you could always use the CSS that's provided. The Generate Press typography could definitely be improved, but this calculator makes things a whole lot easier to get up and running quickly. Now, if I have a completely custom design that I've done in something like Figma, I'm probably still gonna go through and write all the CSS so I can make sure it matches perfectly, but a lot of times I just need something quick and easy that I can get up and running that looks good by default, and this calculator does that really well. Hopefully you'll be able to use this calculator to speed up your projects as well, but if there's something you don't like about my particular setup, I've got really good news for you. Mark is actually taking this form and making it a template that you can import directly inside of WS Forms. This means you can download a copy of this form, tweak it to however you want it to work, and implement it on your site as well. You don't have to use the one that I've published here on the Admin Bars website. A huge thanks to Mark for working with me to get all this working. I couldn't be more excited about this. We actually had a post that ranks really well. In fact, it's one of our most visited pages that had an old version of this calculator that didn't work nearly as well and actually set everything in pixels. So I'm really excited to get this new version replaced on the website. So all the traffic that finds this page finds a much better calculator from here on out. Now, if you learned something from this video or you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you wanna make sure to catch that future video where I talk about the starter site with Generate Press and Generate Blocks, then go ahead and hit subscribe and we'll see you then.